What's happening out there everybody? It's Roll Easy here. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today I have for you a two-player method on how to do gift cards to friends. Really simple as long as you get down all the little steps that we've done in this tutorial. Uh, we've condensed a lot of the stuff down. BMX and I have pieced together a bunch of different methods and made them simpler and quicker to do. And of obviously, all you need is one friend, all right? So super simple. But I gotta always give shout outs to the founders, uh, Killer, Celestial, J-Rock, Obese, Irish Demon, Macclesfield, Cesar, all those awesome guys. Make sure to check them out. Links will be in the description. Now, what you're gonna need for this glitch is you're gonna need obviously one friend, MOCs with the personal vehicle storage, a Fagio or an RH8 inside of the MOC, and a modded car obviously to give to your friend. If you're using this as a money glitch, make sure you're using Benny's vehicles to give and make sure they got a custom plate on them. And make sure you have extra custom plates to change after you guys do the glitch. And the new thing is the car giver, and obviously if you're both giving cars, you both need this, the car giver wants to have uh, a small vehicle to be able to actually blow up the MOC with. You're gonna see the small vehicle that we're gonna be using here, but BMX and I have added this little step in here, and trust me, this is a really cool method, and uh, yeah, nothing like this out at the moment, all right? Piece together some stuff that no kind of people forgot about, to be honest. So, right here, we got the uh, the weenie right here on the right. That is the car you wanna buy, $18,000, all right? So, go ahead and buy that car right there, and you're gonna see why we're actually buying this car specifically, all right? And order it to any garage, doesn't matter where you're ordering it to. Now, once you've gotten that car, go ahead and hop into the car, you know, car giver, that's the main perspective of the video. Uh, car giver, drive into your bunker, have your friend that you're giving the car to, in the passenger seat, all right? So the main perspective of this whole tutorial will be in the car giver's perspective, as you see on the top left in blue. When we go over to the other guy's perspective, that one will be pink, all right, car receiver. So those are the two perspectives in this. Now, car giver, once you have gone into your bunker, check this out. This is why we're using this car right here. Fits right in between those yellow poles. That is the key, all right? This is why we're using this car. So super easy to glitch this car into the bunker. This is what you're gonna be doing. Go ahead and pull up right by there and block off the passenger side door uh, from your friend. What you wanna do now is call up Simeon, Martin, or Gerald, doesn't matter, and request a job. Once you've gotten a job in your phone, go ahead and start up that job. Once you start up the job, right when the lobby loads up, back out of it, all right? See lobby loaded up, back out really quick. Once you've done that, boom, the car is glitched into everybody's bunker if you've done it correctly. And there you go. So now what your friend wants to do, car receiver, he just wants to run outside and go ahead and start up a job for you because you're gonna be getting guns and bunker, all right? So he's running outside right now and he's gonna go uh, start up, you know, a Titan of a job or something like that. I'm gonna stay in here inside of my bunker. This car is glitched into a default bunker right now and I'm gonna hop out and get ready to get guns. So PlayStation, all you guys gotta do is run into the blue circle, W tap your PS button and join a friend, all right? Xbox, this is the best method. Tell your friend to spam you three invites. I accept two invites before I go into the blue circle, and then I accept the third one once I'm in the black screen. Accept the first alert once it pops up, and then go ahead and tell your friend to back out. This is for Xbox, all right? And then there you go. You're up there. Go ahead and accept that second alert. You're gonna get something along the lines of that. PlayStation is a lot easier. Your friend doesn't have to back out. You just have to join him and then spam through the alerts. Once you've done that, boom, we've got guns in bunker, just like that. Make sure you're not signed in as a CEO or an MC at all, uh, and do this in an invite-only session. Probably should have said that in the beginning, but make sure invite-only session, all right? So if you're not signed in as an MC or a CEO, you shouldn't get kicked out. We've got guns. This car is glitched in everybody's bunker. We are in a default bunker with this car and ourselves, all right? So drive over to the shooting range, all right? So once you're over there at the shooting range, what you want to do is hop out of the vehicle and go ahead and go right here, grab your stickies and go ahead and toss your stickies out. All right, toss your stickies on that car. I toss three just in case. Uh, you can toss one if you feel that that's gonna do the trick, but we do three just in case. We wanna make sure that MOC blows up. Now, while we're doing this, what our friend is actually gonna be doing is going outside and requesting his MOC, or sorry, his vehicle from the MOC, the, the Elegy that he's gonna be replacing over, or the Fagio. Now, that person, car receiver, see at the top right, what you're gonna be doing is doing the start menu, uh, you know, right D-pad method to get, you know, frozen behind the MOC. Best way I can explain it, what you wanna do with both your thumbs, quickly press down on right D-pad and pause, and let go very, very quickly. 
Once you've done that, you should get frozen, all right? I failed the first time, drove in the, uh, the MOC, that's all good. Just hop back in the car and drive out. You're gonna be kind of bricked and invisible for a second right there, and then you're gonna pop back up, and there you go, we're back. So, now, what you're gonna do is, go ahead and do what I said, really quick, right T-pad start. Boom, I hit it, the way you check, go to online, play job and quick job are grayed out. Let your friend know, with the sticky bomb car to go ahead and park it over uh, you know at the MOC right by the back tires I would I would say you know a little bit away from you but right by the back tires should be fine if you want to go closer to the MOC doors that's all up to you so we did it right around here it worked for us every single time and uh, yeah so car giver is still in the main perspective car receiver is still in the top right so car giver go ahead and run over to the shooting range when you're at the shooting range hit left d-pad and you're gonna blow up the MOC all right, boom, blow up the sticky bombs, blow up the MOC. There you go. So car giver, the next thing you're gonna be doing is joining a job. Car receiver, the next thing you're gonna be doing is staying on the pause menu, go over to players, and you're gonna be joining him through that menu, all right? Now, car giver, I recommend starting up an adversary mode so you can get kicked outside the bunker, all right? So car receiver is gonna go ahead and join you in a job right now. So you can see in the top right, see he's joining. He's gonna get the session's private alert, get kicked back down, boom, all right? All the difficult stuff is pretty much done already. Now, you just chill. You're ready to receive a car right now. Car receiver, you go ahead and just chill out in your bunker. You are waiting for that car to get glitched into the bunker, the car you want. Car giver, what you're doing now is you just got kicked out of the default bunker because you started up an adversary mode job. And what you want to do now is just order up, you know, a CEO buzzard and go ahead and fly it back over to the bunker. All right. Now, we got to fix ourselves before we go back in the bunker and stuff. So... I recommend going ahead and killing yourself and then obviously you want to do the uh, character wheel so that you don't get you know stuck on an infinite black loading screen now at this point uh, the car you're giving I had that inside my MOC you don't have to have it inside your MOC you can have it in any garage if you have it in another garage go ahead and call it up now before you go in all right so character wheel before you go in with or without the car all right that's what you want to do now once we're in here I'm just gonna go ahead and run into my MOC and that's where I have the car that I'm giving him, all right? In this uh, per, uh, in this part of the video, I'm actually giving him a Zentorno that I have, a modded Zentorno. So, I'm gonna go ahead, go inside my MOC. This is the Zentorno I'm giving him. I'm gonna character wheel it just in case, and then boom, I'm here in my bunker. Now, this is what you wanna do. We're gonna be using the teleport method, but let me tell you, we've made it way easier, uh, less steps. The teleport method now is completely solo, completely solo for the teleport method, and I'm gonna show you why. No, your friend doesn't have to start up a job for you or anything like that. So what you want to do is go ahead and wedge the passenger side door up against the wall as you see right here. Or we're going to be wedging the driver side door with a caddy as well. So this is what we're going to be doing right here. So as you see, I'm backing up right here and I'm getting the, uh, the passenger side door wedged. Now, go ahead and keep edging forward. Just tap that right trigger and keep edging forward until that blue circle disappears. When it disappears, just back up a tad bit and then you're good. You wanna get this as close as possible, let me tell you. So as you can see right there, the blue circle's still there. I got it really, really close and if I go up any further, the passenger side door is not gonna be blocked. So that's kinda why I just didn't edge forward anymore. But yeah, get as close to that blue circle as you can while still, you know, wedging the passenger side door and blocking it so that nobody can get in. Once you've done that, go ahead and grab a caddy, all right? Grab this caddy right here and drive it up to the Zentorno, or, you know, to the car you're giving to, uh, to your friend. Now, drive it up, park it right next to there, almost up against that toolbox, and then go ahead and get out of it. Now you've wedged both doors. If you try to press Y or triangle, boom, you should teleport. That is key right there. You see how I spawned in front of the car when I got out? That is what you wanna see. Now run towards the blue circle, hit Y, and then you're gonna teleport just like that. You see how I'm always teleporting in front of the car? Make sure you're teleporting in front of the car. This will work much, much better if you teleport in front of the car. So I missed it there again. I'm still teleporting in front of the car. I'm gonna go in slow motion right here. What I would recommend is just lightly jog, you know, just hold A or X, you know, while you're moving towards the blue circle. And I just hit Y once. You can spam it if you want, but I just hit Y once. If you have the car in this position, it shouldn't be very difficult. Just make sure it is, it is as close to the blue circle as possible without it disappearing. So I'm going to go ahead and run at the blue circle, hit Y right as I get to it, and you're going to see this. Saw that? I spawned in the car for like a split second, and then now I'm on a black screen, and I'm going to spawn in the MOC right now. That's how you know you successfully hit it. So once you're in the MOC, what you want to do is go ahead and just exit, all right? You don't need a character wheel, that's just a force of habit of mine. So 
go ahead and just exit your MOC. Now, this is why we're saying this method now is completely solo to glitch the car in, all right? You don't have to start, or your friend doesn't have to start up a job for you, nothing like that, all right? Nothing crazy. Once you're outside the MOC, you're going to see right here that that uh, vehicle, the marker is on the map right there, but the car is invisible. All you got to do right now, straight up, is start up a job. As simple as that, okay, guys? So I just started up a Simeon job. I'd recommend, you know, you can do Titan of a job probably, but I did a Simeon job through my phone. So I went ahead and launched that job. And uh, once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and just simply back out. So once I've backed out, I should spawn back down in my bunker and check it out. There's the car right there, guys. So completely solo to glitch the car in there. All right. We've gotten that car glitched in completely solo. You can even do this with the, uh, you know, with the small car if you want. But this is how we did it. We found that this method was really, really easy. Now my friend, uh, you know, receiving the car, he's the one driving it right now. He sees that car in his bunker, so he's driving it, and he's going over to the bunker doors. All right, and he's gonna go ahead and drive into the left or right corner, and boom, he gets sucked right into the MOC. As simple as that, guys. Two players give cars to friends. Uh, not an easier one out right now. They're everything else everything else is three player at the moment, so this is an awesome one to take advantage of. Uh, go ahead, man. Once you've gotten into your MOC with your car, character wheel it real quick, back out of the alert, and then drive out. You should be good. Go ahead and get out of your bunker, and uh, yeah, go to LSC and change the plate on it just to be safe. All right. So that's gonna be it for me, guys. Uh, make sure you drive this car in there. Also, just uh, drive the car back into the MOC so that it saves and you're straight all right so yeah that's gonna be it guys a uh, big shout out to uh, bmx and i for you know really bringing you guys this two-player method big shout out to all the you know founders links in the description and uh yeah so my name is real easy hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something if you did make sure to slap that like button by pressing the blue thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you're new by hitting that big red button and turn on them post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope gta 5 online content peace out everybody